thinks the show's gonna start. Are Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Where's my pizza? I'm no, hungry. All of them. Why can't I play a game? Guys, honestly, I think we should sneak into Freddy's after hours. Well, isn't that like super illegal? I don't think we should do it at all. Haha, <laughs> you can catch me. Um, so like, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, pineapple? Uh, wait, no! What are you doing? Ah! Wait, huh? That's the Freddy plush my friend's trying to get. Hey, how, how many tickets is this? It's a thousand tickets. What? A thousand tickets? That's insane! Yeah, for a plush, it's pretty steep. Honestly, I wouldn't go for it. Listen, it's my friend's birthday. And he really, really wants that Freddy plushie. Come on, can you please just throw me a bone and help me out? Listen, if I give you something, I'm gonna have to give everybody else something. But it's his birthday. Fine. If anybody asks, just say you want it. Yay, so you'll give it to me? Yeah, just as long as it goes to the birthday kid. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm gonna go give it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. For kids, it's number one. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy meets fun. Fun not actually guaranteed. Well, let's meet the band. My name is Freddy. I'm the singer in the band. Happy birthday, Arthur! Thank you, Gabriel. Were you gonna eat that? No, thank you. I'm already stuffed. Speaking of stuffed, I got you this. Wow. Thank you. I saw you eyeballing it at the prize corner. Was I that obvious? <laughs> yeah, a little. I love it. I'm going to try and win something for myself, if you want to come along. Hmm. I think I'll stay and watch the show. Okay, see you, Art. Fazbear Entertainment offers absolutely no guarantees regarding guest safety. Hey, kid. I have a way of giving your little friend over there all the gifts in the world. And all you have to do is follow me. All right, just lead the way. Come this way. Arthur, I understand that therapy hasn't been yielding the results we had hoped for, but I have a suggestion that might help. Have you considered exposure therapy? I believe what I found in here might help. How's a newspaper gonna help me? No, not the newspaper. Read what I have circled. Freddy Fazbear's help wanted. You want me to go back there? To Freddy's? I believe that facing your fears and revisiting the place where Gabriel disappeared could be a significant step in your healing process. It might help you process the trauma and bring some resolution to your anxiety. But what if I can't handle it? What if it makes everything worse? I understand your concerns, and it's completely normal to feel apprehensive. That's why I'm here to support you every step of the way. We can work on coping strategies, develop a safety plan, and if necessary, adjust your treatment accordingly. Alright, let's do it. I need to move on. That's the spirit. We will take it one step at a time. I'll make the necessary arrangements and we will ensure your safety throughout the process together. Thanks, Doc. It's no problem. All right, all right. You can do this. Just stay focused and remember why you're doing it.
Wish me luck, old friend. expect me to do any of this huh oh oh shoot over here what's up well my boss wants me to do some computer work but i don't have any arms so yeah hi i'm arthur anderson i'm here for the night security position Ah, uh, yes, Arthur. Please have a seat, and we'll get somebody with you shortly. Hmm, it seems that the place hasn't changed much. What's going on out here? Oh, sir. Arthur's here to see you. Potential night shift. Oh, well, right this way, Arthur. Um, hey, wouldn't you mind typing up my schedule for next week? It would be very helpful. Thank you. But, uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Uh, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. It's no problem. We're always looking for dedicated individuals to join our team. Now, let's begin, shall we? First off, can you tell me why you're interested in the night security position at Freddy's? Well, ever since I was young, I was always interested in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, especially the animatronics. And the history of this place is uh, interesting, to say the least. I believe that working here would help me be a part of the family, you know? I understand the allure of the place, but it's uh, indeed a unique atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about your experiences. Have you worked in a security-related role before? I don't have really security experience but I have like babysitted before that's interesting um okay well considering you're our only applicant for the position and the urgency to fill it I'm happy to offer you the job of Freddy Fazbear's night security guard thank you thank you so much you won't regret it uh, this'll be your uniform. You'll officially start on the beginning of next week. Your schedule will be like 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. I'll give you some time to prepare. You know, get familiar with our facility. I'll have you meet with Lilith, the day shift security guard. They should help you get familiar with your job, you know, give you the rundown. Thank you. I'll do my best. I'm looking forward to having you on our team. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. I'll be sure to do so. Oh, wait! Hey, you forgot your uniform! Wish me luck, old friend. Hey there! You must be Arthur, right? 
I'm Lilith. I work the day shift here. That's me. It's nice to meet you, Lilith. Follow me, if you will. I'll show you around the place, show you where the cameras are, show you some basic needs known information. This is the dining area. This is where all the magic happens during the day. Kids love it here, especially the entertainment from the animatronic band. Yeah, I remember coming here as a kid. It's a lot more different at night. Is it just me, or do the animatronics kind of creep you out? Yeah, I get that. It might be a bit spooky at first, but you'll get used to it. I sure hope so. You know, things have changed a lot since the restaurant's heyday. Ever since the missing children incident, Freddy's had to close its doors to the public. Now it only operates for privately scheduled birthdays. You know, it's pretty hard to convince families to come back when an event like that happens. I know it can be overwhelming, especially with the history of this place, but trust me, nothing's gonna happen tonight. It's all about following routine and following the security protocols. Come on, allow me to show you to your office. So this is your security office. This is where you're going to be spending most of the night. So I'm going to be watching over the entire place from here? Pretty much. That sounds reassuring. The cameras cover almost every inch of the restaurant. If you see anything suspicious, just let me know, and I'll be right there to check it out. There's also a specific aspect of the job. During the night, we cut to a limited power supply to cut back on costs. Limited power supply? It means that certain systems and equipment will be powered down and operating on reduced power. As the night security guard, it's your responsibility to manage this limited power supply and ensure that essential systems, like your security cameras and doors, have all the necessary power, but anyway. And these are the security doors. And you can close them if you suspect anything is trying to get into your office. But it's highly unlikely anything would happen. Uh, oh. Hey. Now, I've been doing this job for a while now, and there's no need to worry. It might get creepy at times, but everything will turn out okay. And don't get me started on the free pizza benefits. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for all your help. Alright, I'll leave you to it. If you ever need anything, give me a call. And if the phone rings, pick it up. Now, where can I put my notebook? Hmm, this looks like a pretty good spot. Let me just drop it off here. I wish my office had a little bit more light. Eh, limited power and all, I guess. Huh. This must be the phone that Lilith was talking about. Hello? Hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that hmm. office before you. I'm finishing up my last week it. now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, fine. So let's just focus on Ooh. getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Sounds boring. And it's kind of a legal thing, you know. 
Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, mm. where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear mm. Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Mm. Upon is discovering that, that damage stage? or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 missing days person. or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? Ew. No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs hmm. for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably hmm. be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Wander? Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. What? Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the Bite of 87. Bite of 87? Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. What? You know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, My safety, the only real risk to huh? you as a night watchman here, if any, huh? is the fact that these characters, huh? uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. What? They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a fun place to hide. On. Now, since that's against the rules <laughs> here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um... What? Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Death? Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. They sure as hell but didn't hey, tell me. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely doors? necessary. Huh? Gotta conserve power. Huh? All right. Good night. What? Okay. I guess I'll check out the cameras. Hmm. The animatronics, huh? Do these things ever not get creepy? Ugh. I can smell them from here. Ugh. Hmm. The dining area. It's a lot more empty. I wonder what else is here. Hmm, let's see. Uh, here. Huh, is this some sort of parts and service? I wonder since I work here if I can just go back there now. Huh. That'd be interesting to do later. Ugh. Why would anybody want cameras facing their bathroom? Ugh, creeps. Storage closet. Nothing crazy to see here, I guess. Left hallway. Hmm. Nothing special. Right hallway. Ugh, crazy dark, though. Oh, let's check. Wait. Where's Bonnie? Where? Where? Huh. What? I know he said he can walk around at night, but not like this. This is crazy. What? What's going on? Ah! He's staring right, right at me. Ah! He's, he's gone. I gotta find him. I gotta find him. Where is he? He's not on stage. He's not there. He's not there. He's He's getting awfully close to my office. Does that mean he's right down this hall? I can't see anything. What? I gotta find him. Where, where is he? Oh, there he is. Will I get stuffed if he sees me? What? He's, he's gone again. No, no. 
So weird. You just can't. What? How long do I have to stay here for? I can't just stay here. I gotta find a way of getting out of here. It's it's 6 a.m. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> 